speaking of kind of Superman and things like that, there's obviously a lot of stuff going on at DC right now. We're going to have an all-new Superman. We're going to have an all-new DC universe. James Gunn is the guy. He's the architect of this, which I'm not sure how I feel. I like some James Gunn stuff. Do I think he's like the guy to do Superman going forward? I don't know. But as, again, one of the few people who've had the opportunity to play him, what, what's your gut feeling about this? I don't know how you know keyed in you are on what's going on with DC right now, but obviously big changes. Well, I'll tell you, Ryan, my phone hasn't rang, so it's here. <laughs> <laughs> no, James Nothing. did not call me this morning yet. <laughs> Nothing. Um, I'm a fan of James Gunn, some of his stuff, I, too. I am, too. Like, Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one, had a great sense of humor, right. and there was romance. There was all, and and Chris, Chris Pratt was phenomenal in that. He was He's so good in that. You know, when there's a movie I watch and I go, dang it, I wish I could have played that guy. That's then it's that's wonderful. And and I'm, I'm not saying I would have done better than he because he was brilliant in it and made me love it. So um, that sense of humor and that smile and that humility that he has is important to Superman. And they went away with it with Zack Snyder and what they did there. It was all dark and it was all Batman's world. And I didn't like that world for Superman. I was I was just uncomfortable in that. Okay. It was so serious. And eh, where's the wink and the nod and the smile, you know, you know, right. the, the Christopher Reeve, you know, give him a salute and that little smile. Yeah. That's, that was, that's Superman to me. It's hope. And it's a twinkle in the eye. And I hope, and I pray that I'm an optimist. I'm an eternal optimist. And I'm hoping that James Gunn does a great job with it and brings, brings the big blue boy scout back to where he belongs. We'll, we'll find out, but I'm going to maintain, you know, my optimism for it. Um, I'm certainly happy to hear that, it'll get away from what the Zack Snyder, who's a great filmmaker, by the way, I just didn't like that world for Superman myself. Um, great films. He makes great images. And, but I just didn't, I wasn't like taken away with the, like I was with the Richard Donner Superman. Like I was gone with that. That just yep. had me like 1977 Same. Star Wars, a new hope had me, you know, there's certain things that just get you because they're human stories and they're told well. And, and, and I don't care how many buildings fall down and crumble. I, I, I want to care about my characters and I didn't care about them that much in the, in the Zack Snyder verse. No offense, but I'm completely I, will for James Gunn. I agree me? with everything you said. I agree with everything you said. And yeah, I mean, with James Gunn, I, I even liked James Gunn's uh, Brightburn. I know he didn't direct that. I think he wrote Brightburn with like the evil Superman take. And so what it showed me is like, if you're telling the evil Superman side, it's like he at least appreciates what Superman is. And this is why like somebody like Homelander makes me appreciate Superman because you see like if Superman didn't have the foundation that he has and the morals that he has, what he could be if he was a bad guy. And so I don't know though, James Gunn, like I love all of his Guardians movies. I do. Ryan's going to bring this point up. Is he the right guy for Superman is a good question because he did take a lot of liberties with Guardians. He did. He took a lot of liberties with Guardians. Not a lot of people knew the source material from Guardians. So he took all those liberties. He can't do that with Superman. Um, and I hope that he recognizes that. But I am at least there's I do have some optimism. But DC as a whole, in terms of their uh, superhero movies and, and the on screen stuff, they're in a nightmare right now with everything they've been producing. So I guess we're going to it's going to be interesting to see. For sure, it can only get better, right? <laughs> well, Look, yeah, yeah, it's kind of sad. We're it's kind of sad. We're at that level with with Superman. I have a better feeling about Henry Cavill Superman than I think probably most people on the panel. But in general, I think Superman is like looked at as a damaged character right now. Like they have to rehabilitate the image of the original superhero, which and, is sad. Uh, both from well, what we've seen in the movies lately and the comic books and everything. And Henry Henry, Henry Cavill is great. Don't get me wrong. He, I think he did a great job. But I just think he was in the wrong movie. That's exactly right. like I think Henry Cavill, like with the right creative, you know, outlook on and creative direction, he could be the like definitive Superman of our time. But it's not him I didn't like. It's just the overall world that he's in and, and the narrative that was built around it. But I know there's a lot of people out there. Trust me, I've been arguing against Man of Steel for a long time. There's a ton of Man of Steel fans out there. There's a lot of fans of it out there for sure. Just not my particular take on it, but they have to build this around Superman moving forward. Ryan's right, though. Superman as a character needs to be rehabilitated, unfortunately, so um, because of where we are. He does need to be the center of the universe moving forward as to whatever they do. And what do you think, Gabe? I think, you know, Superman is blue skies. It's smiles. I think Batman is cynical and hardcore and edgy, dark night, rainy. Um, what is wrong with the world? I think Superman is what is right with the world. Superman is hope and optimism. It's truth. It's justice. It's the American way. And the thing about truth is 
far left wokeism, not lefty, I'm fine with Democrat people, but we all know what I mean. Leftist, SJW, commies, they don't believe in the truth. Everything is a lie with them. You know, everything is inverted and upside down. So if those are the kind of people making a movie about truth and beauty. How will they make it? If it's not in you, it's not going to come out of you. Right. So that's a concern I have. Who's pulling the levers over there? Maybe James Gunn is great and Guardians of the Galaxy was a lot of fun. But what if, I mean, even James Gunn has a boss. You know what I mean? And what if those people, they don't believe in truth. They don't believe in America. Like, how would you, how would you make an all-American icon like Superman with that wink and a nod and the, you know, the beautiful big smile and the blue skies and all that if you don't believe in that and you're the one making it? So I'm concerned. I think America needs this kind of stuff. Obviously, that's why Dean and I are just making it. You know, we're just making our own stuff that has this in it. But hopefully the people over there, they just see that, hey, man, they don't like this other stuff. They don't. People don't like it. They don't want Superman being ugly. You want nasty, ugly, gritty? That's what Batman's for. You know, and it's great when he does it. It's not what Superman's for. So I think I'm James hopeful. Gunn should give these guys a call and uh, have them on as consultants for uh, what he's doing. I think that would be a good idea. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if your phone rings, Dean. Uh, I want I'm, credit I'm if it does. I want credit. Usually we'll have it on sign up, but I'll turn it off right now. <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> yeah. Just in case James Gunn's watching this <laughs> yeah. live stream.